Hi, it's Candace with Grow Local again. And I know I talked to you about doing the straw bale planting, and I don't know if you tried it this year or if you're interested in it and you're gonna try it next year, but if you've a mind to, if you've already planted your bales, you can still get more use out of them by using them as a cold frame. Just drag them together. If you've got four to make a square, I'm just showing you with the three. It's just easier to see what I'm talking about. But you would just line up your straw bales to make a nice square. And then if it's winter time and you've got other product, like other plants that you know aren't gonna overwinter very well or they need the extra protection, like your new um, rosemary or your base, a lot of times they need a bigger, more substantial root ball before they're gonna be winter hardy and able to stay out in your garden all year. Uh, and typically, if you don't want roots to freeze, you need to have a pot that's at least 18 inches wide by about 18 inches deep, okay? And that's where this comes in really handy. I can put pots in that are a lot smaller. These are, they've gotta be some of the world's best insulators going. So if you had your four bales, you could put an old window frame across the top. You can put your reme across the top. If it's water that's going to concern you the most, because like with um, your Mediterranean herbs, like your oregano and your, your rosemary, it's usually the water that gets in more than the cold does. So you might want to put a piece of poly over the top. And again, if your plants are too tall, you can just use your infamous stick, put it in, put your pipe across the top and use your reme and you're making yourself a little hoop house, okay? or you might just want to peg the reme straight across the top. It's really easy to do. And then it also gives you a little bit of a head start in the spring if you're going to replant these. All you have to remember to do is water them really well, add a whole lot of nitrogen, like blood meal and bone meal, to get these things going, to get them started. Because there's not really any nutrients in the straw. But there's not any weeds either, so when you're mulching, Mulch with, with straw, not with hay. Otherwise, you're going to have all sorts of strange things growing up that you didn't want. And that's about it, you guys. Um, if you have the four and you're using it as a, as a cold frame in the springtime when it starts to warm up, if you take out the south-facing bale, oh, look at that. You just made yourself a little mini greenhouse and you can get a, an even bigger start on some of your other groceries that you're going to be growing. I have a bag full of straw here. If you want the square to be bigger, you don't have to butt the ends up. Ah, it's heavier than I thought. You don't have to butt the ends up like this. You can have them the way I had them. And then just put your, your bags of leaves that you want to compost and use in your garden in the spring, okay, for leaf mold or leaf mulch. Now I'll say that's it. Thanks and bye.